A, our crazy alert for the day. This is a, a guy in, 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 in Michigan. He's running for a seat in the State House of Representatives. His name is Robert Regan, R-E-G-A-N. And he has endorsed killing President Joe Biden. He endorsed killing Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern of New Zealand. He endorsed killing Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. And most enthusiastically, he thinks that Dr. Anthony Fauci should be put to death. He is advising people to study and apply QAnon to their lives like they do with the Bible. He claimed that Capitol Police Officer Eugene Goodman, remember the, 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 the black cop who on the, up on the second floor of the Capitol building said to all those rioters as they were coming in, follow me this way, you know, basically. And so they turned left and followed him instead of turning right where they would have gotten into the, into the Capitol chamber where they could have, you know, taken out some legislators. This, this hero, he says, uh, oh, that was staged. Uh, <laughs> right. This is the guy. This guy is running for the state house in Michigan. Now, you would think that the Republican Party, looking at the fact that this guy has called for the assassination of four world leaders, or three world leaders, and Dr. Fauci, and has said that, you know, people in Michigan need to apply QAnon to their lives the way that they, you know, live by the Bible. You need to add QAnon to that. You would think that the Republican Party would say, eh, we'll pass on this guy. But nope, they just endorsed him. He has been on Fox News. He's been on Newsmax. He's been on WOOD, a big radio station in Grand Rapids. Um, he appeared in an online video with a right-wing group. This is the guy who said, and I quote, I tell my daughters, well, if rape is inevitable, you should just lie back and enjoy it, end quote. Yes, he said that. Robert Regan, just endorsed by the Republican Party for the, for the, for the House of Representatives in the state of Michigan. He posted a meme from a pro-Nazi website claiming that feminism is, quote, a Jewish program to degrade and subjugate white men. He, he uh, shared a piece from a fringe site claiming that Jewish people, led by the Rothschild family, were responsible for 9-11, assassinated President Lincoln, assassinated President Kennedy, and control our banks and media. He claimed that Russia's invasion of Ukraine was, quote, a fake war, just like the fake pandemic. What is the Republican Party of Michigan thinking? I mean, they've already got people who tried to kidnap and murder their governor. They've got, you know, they, they weren't Republican legislators, but they were, you know, Trumpies. They've got this, the, this huge right-wing militia movement in Michigan. They've got, and Michigan is one of, you know, the handful, I, about a, a little fewer than a dozen. Michigan and Oregon, here in Oregon it happened. It happened in Arizona. It happened, I believe, in New Mexico. I could be wrong. It happened in a, in a number of states where, where you know, right-wing Republican insurrectionists, you know, Trumpies, tried to seize the state capitol. That happened in Michigan. Again, they were waving Republican flags, Trump flags. What does the Republican Party of Michigan think its future is? Do they really think that having a Mussolini-style uh, fascist state is like the ideal thing? Is that, the, is that what the price they're willing to pay in exchange for, for having white supremacy in the state? I mean, this, at the end of the day, that's really what this is all about. This is, this is the new version of the Klan. And the Republican Party has totally gotten in bed with these people. What the hell?